Okay, thank you, Jennifer. There's new hope that an airport can survive the showdown over sequestration. Right now, officials at Frederick Municipal Airport are making their case to keep their tower open. The FAA slated its newly opened tower there as one of more than 100 across the country to close because of budget cuts. Horace Holmes joins us now with the word on how they hope to keep this tower open. Horace? Leon, it's a last ditch effort, but they're banking on the influence of some powerful members of Congress to keep the lights on in that tower. Jonathan Smith regularly flies in and out of the Frederick Municipal Airport from South Carolina. He knows how busy this airport is. We, with a lot of students and other pilots that aren't familiar, the, it can get kind of crazy approaching and coming in here, and so the tower helps a lot. But this new control tower may not be operational much longer because of federal budget cuts from sequestration. It opened just 10 months ago and is slated to close in a few weeks. We're continuing to fight to keep our tower open. The airport's general manager, Kevin Daugherty, along with local officials, fought to get the $5 million tower. Now he has to fight to keep it open. There's no local funding available to save the tower, so Darty is lobbying the state's congressional leaders to appeal to the federal government for help. The future of the airport is our tower, um, so without that, it's really taken a step backwards for us. Local officials pushed for the tower in an effort to attract more corporate business here, and it's working. Over the past year, the airport has attracted more than $110 million in revenue, with more than 130,000 flights coming in and out. Pilots say closing the tower would be a threat to safety. The safety issue is uh, the amount of traffic that comes in and out of here, and uh, it used to be uncontrolled. But not every pilot agrees. You know, if it is a congested area, I'm, I'm with you 100%. But I don't see that, you know, you have to have the tower here. Now, if no deal is struck, that tower will close down on April 22nd. Reporting live from Frederick, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.